Oh, I said I was gonna make you a video. So when you're cruising down your line, when you're cruising down your line, you want to find a spot that's already covered by by uh, spruce tree branches, and that's what you're gonna set up on your cubby. This one's got a small spruce right beside a larger spruce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear a little bit of this out on the bottom, like uh, these these thorns. You know the, so I'm gonna cut those out. I don't want them there. What you want to do is you want to get to the ground as best you can. You want to make it about the size of a of a full lynx, so that way they can turn around and stuff. I'm pretty sure you probably know all a bunch of this stuff already. Let's see. Another thing I want to do in the back of it. There's a broken one here. Gonna have to get rid of this. But I don't want anything while I'm kneeling here, anything that's shoulder height, I don't want it there because then it makes it hard to hard to be able to catch them with the snare. So You want to find a bunch of little trees, roughly about this size, right up to about your chest. Break them off. What you're going to do is you're going to make a little pen, crisscross these. Little sticks all over here. So that way it makes it so that way they don't really want to go in there, in that spot. Links like the circle when they're uh, when they come around. It's always best to set up where there's already sign, but uh, I'm just doing this for purposes of showing. And besides, I know that there's links around here anyway, so maybe I might get lucky and catch something because I'm actually going to leave this here. So what I'll do is I'll go across and I'll find a bunch of other little branches or I'll go to a bigger tree and I'll take off some branches. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across and I'm going to find as many little branches as I can off of something that's already dead. So I'm going to pause you here for a couple of minutes. Okay, I moved a little bit so that way you can get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit better idea of what's going on here, or what I'm up to. Right now I'm just breaking off some branches that I can pick in the ground. It doesn't have to be uh, extremely large, and I'd say I put these about, oh, I don't know, maybe my hand width, like this, so about where I put them apart, a little closer, maybe three fingers apart. You don't want to make it so that way it's too, it's too enclosed, otherwise they won't want to go in there. Like I said, you probably know this stuff. I'm just going through it. Just because I said I was going to do it. So.
I have to learn everything that I do for trapping online because I have nobody to teach me. That's why I like what you're doing. That's why I sent you those snares. So if somebody can learn from you what to do, how to do it, then right on. And the culture is not completely lost. Traditional ways are starting to become something that's non-existent with our people. I say our people, you know, like um, my mom's treaty, so my dad's Métis. I've always identified as a First Nation because I was always taught that's what I was. So I got into lots of fights at school and stuff. Shouldn't be fighting, but I did. I fought lots of when I was growing up. People didn't like me because I was I wasn't pure, I guess. Fought both sides. Fought some white kids, fought the native kids. Hard to find a place to put to fit in. Unfortunately, things like that happen. And I put a V on one side, and I'll put another little V on that side so that way they, they step into it. Just enough room where they can have, uh, they don't have to worry about it. Uh, you could even do that with, uh, With um, what are they called? A leg hold. Stick a leg hold in there and catch them. Same principle. See, it's just. Oh, one thing I did forget though is I did forget to bring my uh, my sardines. I put sardines on the ground here because it smells like fish. I didn't bring any with me this time. But I suppose that's my own fault. I was in a hurry to get out there. Spent the day fixing my, my wife's vehicle. She had a uh, caliper broke. And then so it wasn't, wasn't running right. So what I'll usually do, because I forgot that I can't really do what I normally do with this. I'll move you over here a little bit. Hopefully you can see. Let's see what I got going on here. Oh. See, that's the back. And this is the front. Now what I need to do is I need to find a pole. See how that sits there? Nice V opening. This one could be up a little bit more though. I think I knocked it over with that other tree. But I do have lynch gland, and I also have uh, feline fix. It's sort of like, um, almost like a catnip. But I'll grab these snares, my wire. Oh, the other thing I forgot to put, I'll bring it back, I gotta get a, a longer pole. I'll just, I'll just leave it running, or nah, I'll pause it again. Okay, I got my stick. I'm gonna back you up here a bit. Hopefully, I don't get too far out of the way. Uh, that might be okay. Uh, fix the angle just a little bit. Okay. So, what I did is I got a pretty long stick. 
it's better if this is uh, done with a uh, white spruce, like a bigger one with more branches on top. This one doesn't have a lot of branches, so uh, you might get away with my pole for a little ways. Run off with it for a bit. But anyways, what you do, you stick your pole up in the tree. on the ground at the bottom okay um you could tie it on the top this one probably could be tied on the top and it'll stay like that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get uh another one of my my tie, my tie wires, and I'll tie it up. But for now, I'll bring you closer. Uh, maybe I'll angle you a little bit over here so we can see what I'm up to. You don't need any gloves. Cats don't really seem to care. It's different with canines. Uh, I don't know why it is that cats don't seem to care, but uh, you seem to be able to get a lot away with a lot more with cats than you do with uh, canines. So it's the same setup. These ones are a little older. I didn't make them so so tight, but you do the same thing. You go through your loop, come around, hook on. through and that's what you want a little figure eight type of deal there and these you put the top of your snare at knee height so you sit there put my knee and you want it roughly about that high so we'll go maybe a hand width with your hand open from the bottom what I'll do is I'll check that. I think I'm going to make the snare a little bit shorter. And that's the good thing about having it so that way you can move things around. And that's about right. So what I'll do, I'll go around. I'll go back through my, through my tie wire, or through my snare, and then I'll wrap. The reason why I went through my snare wire again is because I didn't want it to go anyplace. I didn't want it to get longer. Now you check this again. Make sure everything's all good. Put that right in the way. So you want about two fingers on each side of your trap. Could go a little higher. There we go. See, now when an animal comes in there, he'll get trapped on this, which is awesome for me. It's what you want, right? So that's awesome. Now I'll do the same to the other side. So what I'll do with my other wire. And that one's already got one tree that's already on there. All I have to do is put two trees like this at an angle. And then I will wire, tie wire my my pole to the other tree so that way he can't take off with it other than that that's about it uh, i'm gonna have to come out here in a in a day or two because i've i've got to go do some work tomorrow so i can't come back here till probably saturday but that's all right that gives me a little bit of time to get a little bit more for what I want to do with this because um, I'm going to use sardines there we go. 
them. Yeah, I want to use sardines to uh, put in here. And I want to use that. I'm going to put that cap in before I leave. But I'll pause you for a bit until I'm ready to leave. Okay, the set's all done. Uh, I don't know. Can you see those? Uh, those snares. I right, see the one in the back. One in the front. Um, take you to see what I did with that pole. See, I tied a tie wire here. There's a tie wire there. And I wrapped them together because it wasn't quite long enough. That's the bad thing about having short tie wires with you. But this is the back. Now all I have to do is put the catnip stuff. And I'm done with this one. And then go do a couple more. Now. So what you want is a stick that is roughly, will be, when it's in the ground, it'll be about right in the middle with this first snare, because you gotta go stick it right in the middle. So what I have here is actually, oh, that's the wrong one. I wanna put that one on there, just a wolf call. I grabbed the wrong one, it's supposed to be the link stuff. stuff this time. Lynx gland lure. Of course you should want a little bit better stick than what I have. This one's kind of rotten. You get a good blog of that stuff. It smells pretty nasty. Put it right in the middle. What it does is, when a cat comes here and he smells that, he wants to go and figure out what the hell. So he'll go through here, he'll bump this as he gets closer, and then he'll start trying to rub his face on there. And then that's when these fall down and they catch him. So hopefully I'll have something in there in, by the weekend. What's today's Thursday? Tomorrow I have to go do a site visit for a consultation and stuff, and then probably Saturday. So I might be able to get out Sunday, unless I can do both of them tomorrow. Because I have two to do, and then after that I'm done. But yeah, this is what I do for my Lynx Cubby sets. Um, like I said, I'll do the, the sardine thing. So I open up a can of sardines and I'll pour it right all over around the stick after I've done all this. And then I'll just dump the sardines on the dump the sardines in there or sometimes i'll hang the sardines from up top with a little i'll crack the sardine can open and then i'll just leave it so that way it's open and i'll use that little that uh, little tab on there and i'll tie it off up top and i'll just hang here so that way it stinks all over the place but you catch all kinds of stuff like that though anyway hope you have fun